what is up people it is your boy drew coming back with another video and today i will be showing you how to stream the best settings bro this, let me reiterate this is the best settings to stream if you have slow internet bro this is the best settings in obs to stream with if you have slow internet in obs so i just want to say this again to figure out if you have slow internet you want to go to a beta.speedtest.net there are plenty of speed tests out there but again you can see my uh, see my settings here bro it's horrible I got 0 0.70 so got 0 0.70 so it's crazy bro my stream settings are indeed what I call horrendous so um, basically um, to stream you want to go to Creator Studio, you want to go to live stream and you want to go to scroll down, you want to go to your stream key. You want to go to the stream key. Um, you can change all these settings if you want, you know. You gotta have your good title, have your good description. Let them, everyone know what you are streaming. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. I just wanted to go over that just um, for tutorial purposes. Anyway, so get your encoder set up. Get that stream name slash key. Like I said in my previous video on um, streaming, if you have good internet, um, please, please, people, do not reveal your stream name slash key. You see, it, it's dots for a reason. Once you hit reveal, you copy that. Don't let anyone see that because if they have that, they can stream on your channel. I'm just throwing it out there as a disclaimer. Don't blame me. All right. So you want to copy that. And you want to go to OBS, go to file, go to settings, and you want to go to streams, put that to YouTube or Twitch or whatever you're streaming from. Get the stream key and paste it here. Paste it there. Server is gonna be primary YouTuber server anyway, so it should be the same as is. So paste your stream key there. Once you do that, that's the hard part really out the way. Well, kind of sorta in them. These are the settings that you want if you have horrible internet. Like I said, I have a 0 0.70. You want to multiply that times a thousand. You can change this to 700 if you want. If you have like 0 0.70 like me, but I set it to 500. I think that's I keep fluctuating between 500 and 700, but that's probably the best it's going to get. Rate control, you want that CDR. Um, you want bit rate at 500. Another important thing, make sure output mode is to advanced. Make sure that's on advanced. Make sure it's on advanced. Anyway, so you want to set bit rate at 500. You want to use custom buffer size, buffer size 1000. Set keyframe interval to two. Make sure your CPU usage it's on ultra fast man make sure it's on ultra fast bro um other than that everything else is good for streaming you want to make sure your audio is 44.1 you can change for 48 i think it is yes but i usually use that 44.1 video you want to change it to 856 times 48 that is 480p 480p is what you're gonna get uh, let me go back to this. Do I have? Oh, right, here it is. Rescale um, output. Sorry about that. I had to go back. One, make sure it's. I got to change that. It should be on the same as this. Eight five six times four eighty. Um, you want to make sure it's on eight five six times four eighty. That's four eighty p. So make sure your rest rescale output is on four eighty p. Seven twenty times four eighty is fine too. But I just like to get the maximum of it. So the maximum for AP is the 856. So let's go back, make sure both of those are the same. Make sure downscale filter is on fastest because you're not really downscaling into anything. So make sure it's on fastest your frames per second. You want it on 24, man. I'm sorry. You think you're gonna get 30 frames, man? You can change to 30, but 30 does not look as good as 24 because of your upload speed. You can't upload those frames fast because your upload speed is horrible, man. I feel your pain, honestly. But you want to change to 24. Every tutorial I've seen and um, tried to implement always had me on 30, but I changed to 24 and it looks better, honestly, in my opinion. 
you can kind of change it and see how it works with you but for me 24 works the best man i'm just throwing it out there so i just want to show y'all the results like people don't even show y'all the results a lot of times man and they be doing all these tutorials bro i just want to show y'all the results of me implementing that into my system so i'm gonna hit start streaming I'm gonna start streaming and if you have bad in there you know how those frames can go so i usually stay anywhere between two percent drop frames right now i have zero percent drop frames um that's probably gonna change to between um zero to around three four percent if i was actually doing something meaningful here i'm not doing anything but if you have slow internet you know that if you have the six oh there it goes drop the five oh my god that's high it's gonna drop back down probably yeah there it is drop back down so it, it fluctuates man i guess it's fluctuate to five percent my bad i said two and three but it's that's still good though that's still good that's still good see it's back down to like three percent um can you see that is that hit the subscribe button in the way let's move that move that out the way hit that subscribe button though um back it use, I stay green most of the time. It'll go red sometimes like it just did. But I use my drop frames stay relatively low because I'm only producing about 23 frames per second. And um, I stay pretty good there. The thing about your slow internet, even if you use 30 frames per second, um, it's not going to be able to keep up with all those frames. So if you lower the frames per second to around 24 and have it at 480p, you should be good to go to stream thing about streaming bro sometimes it's not about the quality of the stream it's about what you say during the stream and you want to make sure that you are entertaining during your stream if you're entertained during your stream sometimes it's not even about the quality as long as people can see it and as long as it's not choppy and loading and stuff so these are my new settings i just discovered these like not too long ago so they're doing me well so far man and if you're new to the channel bro please please hit that sub button man it's your boy drew if this helped you hey i'm here man if you need help please leave a comment if we gotta figure something else out for you man we can kind of figure something else out for you man i'm here to help the people man it's your boy drew and i'm out one day i'ma have the money to go by honey Rari's run